Good morning, South. I'm Byron Miranda. And I'm Swagger. Today is May 10th, and keeping with a little bit we started here earlier this year, WTV has another staff member helping us out doing the morning announcements. So, Byron, how do you like it so far? Well, it's great. It's just really bright in here. I didn't expect to work on my tan. Um, you get used to it after a few weeks. Well, you adjust to the lights in here. I'll get started on the news. Today, for the kitchen specials, in the Mexi line, you can get a chicken fajita sub or a beef nacho with beans and rice. The grill line has chicken alfredo with a biscuit or with fries in, in, sorry, excuse me. In the pizza line, you can get the three cheese um, breadstick with a salad or veggie, fruit, juice, and a milk for only two sixty. You can also get, <clears throat> You can also go to the a la carte line, that, which has the ever so popular grab and go lunch or the hummus plate. And finally, the healthy choice line has the soup of the day, which is tomato with basil or pot roast. You can also grab a hot grilled cheese sandwich or a meat wrap sandwich. Sophomores and juniors, remember to go to, excuse me, again, remember to go online this week and enter your classes for next year. If you do not have your login and password that you should have gotten from PAC, please take your registration form to your PAC advisor. Uh, you have to have all this done by Friday, I and mean, you have until Friday to enter all your information in. Please see your counselor if you have any questions. Speaking of registration, juniors, you the main office is looking for a few good men and women to serve as assistants this is teacher, yeah, teacher assistance next year. Choose the main office TA when filling out your schedule, then sign up with Ms. Shiro. To all students, there are still openings for the Career Center Public Works job shadow trip. You get a free lunch and an opportunity to learn about the public work careers. This happens Thursday, May 19th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sign up at the Career Center. There are only five openings left, so just to make sure it's first come, first serve. And lastly, tonight is the Harlem Wizards versus the SK Kiers. The game here at South at 7 p.m. Game, game tickets are only $12 at the door. Go to this event. It's going to be great. You're going to have professional basketball players against your own teachers and principals throughout this entire tournament. So go to it. So, Byron, what do you do here at South? Well, I am the Learning Resource Center teacher, and I work with all the teachers in the school mm -hmm. and providing extra assistance for kids who need it. But most of the time, I'm just getting uh, either mistaken for a student or Mr. Lee. I used to get mistaken for a student a lot. And you've been here for two years? Yes, I have, and I've loved every minute of it. Great. So. Well, so are you ready to uh, give Anchorin a try? Sure. Well, go. Attention seniors, these next few announcements are especially for you. Permission forms to bring guests to the senior prom are now available from Mrs. Shiro in the main office during non-class time. Guests enrolled in 9 through 12 schools must have an administrator signature from the sending school and all forms require parent guardian signature. Thinking about going to prom? Thinking about asking a former SK student? Before you get too far ahead of yourself, check for fines. Your fines and your guest fines need to be cleared before you can buy tickets. Do not assume you don't have fines. Check. Fine lists will be posted outside the ASB office starting Wednesday. This list will include both high school and junior high fines. All fines can be paid at the high school anytime. And finally, the following scholarship is now posted in the guidance office for the seniors. The Robert Mulville Scholarship Program for seniors who are either without parental or guardian support or those dependent upon the state of Washington. Be sure to stop by the guidance office soon. So you know, Swagger, I was a member of one of the first video classes here, and it's really come a long way. Yes, it has. In fact, last week, the Emmy chapter for the Northwest had awarded the video program here with 11 nominees. Wow. Can I get applause? Yes. <laughs> Kelly Wall. Um, led the way with five nominations, including one for this video right here. There's a quote that goes like this, all it takes for the bad side of humanity to triumph is for good men and women to do nothing. 
So the question that you should ask is, do you make this school a better place? Is this school safer? Are students emotionally and physically safer at this school because you are a student here? Well, that was a great video, Kelly. We'll keep you posted on winners when they're announced later in June. We can't wait, um, we can't wait until then, so I'll take it from here. Right now, in club news, Anime Club meets tomorrow from 2.10 to 4.30 in room 302. Bring a movie to vote on. Youth Court is tomorrow starting at 4.45 p.m. at the Bremerton Municipal Court. If you're interested in participating in this community service activity, contact Miss Ness in room 320 for application. Remember, pizza and networking begins promptly at 445. Uh, new members are welcome to attend. Remember, th these are real cases with real punishments. Be a part of the decision-making process. Come join SAD. It's a great opportunity to help others and the community. There is a meeting tomorrow in room 104 at 215. Spanish Club had a lot of fun this on last Thursday celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Well, not that they need a reason, but there will be, cel will be another celebration this Thursday in the Spanish Club. Come enjoy the festivities. German Club will be meeting on Thursday at 2.15 in room 300A. See you there. Also to those students traveling on the German exchange trip, the final meeting is tonight at 6 p.m. in room 300A. Don't forget to remind your parents. German students, don't forget to turn in your <clears throat> don't forget to turn in your paperwork and pay, and pay for the Leavenworth trip. The sorry, they will depart from SKHS at 7 a.m. on Saturday, so please make sure you arrive around 6:50 to get on the bus in time. Elsewhere, a special congratulations to SK Marking, the SK Marching Band for earning first place in the Apple Blossom Parade in Wenatchee last weekend. This is the third consecutive year the band has held the title. Way to go, Wolves. Also, congratulations to the following band members who recently competed in the state's solo and ensemble competition. Madeline Folkerts for piano and French horn solo, and Ayla Howell for the tuba solo. And the following musicians received a superior rating at state. Russell Hitch for multiple percussion solo and the SKHS percussion ensemble. In sports news, track and field athletes. All track athletes competing in the league meet need to be on the track at 2.10 p.m. And now for the schedule of events. Today, boys golf is already swinging away at the Narrows Tournament in Spanaway Lake. Also today, boys soccer will face stadium at 7.30 p.m. tonight at home. Baseball is at the WCD going against Tahoma with the first pitch at 7 p.m. over at Russell Road Fields. And finally, Fast Pitch will take on Olympia today, JV at 5.45 p.m. and Varsity at 4.15 p.m. here at home. I think I could get used to this, but I've got to get back to my classroom. And I got a few other things to do, but also remember, tonight is the Harlem Wizards game. Go to it. It actually starts at 6. Again, it's only 12 bucks at the door. Go to it. It's going to be a great event. Anyways, I've been Byron Miranda. Get your CBAs in, senior. And I've been Matthew Swagger, and hopefully you go to the game tonight. See you next time, South.